And Chess.com is here with Grandmaster Maxime vachier Lagrave, whose chances for the candidates tournament ended in the final round today. Do you feel like you gave it everything to try to win on the board today? Yeah, definitely. But um, and actually, I got a pretty decent position. I'm pretty sure I was uh, much better. And uh, in the critical moment, uh, my first intention was, uh, of course, Bishop C5, not D2. And then for some reason, I thought 92 would just not allow any counterplay, and uh, I completely uh, forgot that he could go f no, for the pawn on a4 because I don't have time for for the mating attack. So, um, I mean, then losing th this was unnecessary, but uh, yeah, I was still blinded by, by this fact. But a draw was the same as a loss, so were you even thinking about you know going after his a pawn, or did you think there would be just no play left if you did that? Yeah, exactly. I thought there was no play left, and uh, I thought there was some, you know, ops to get some tricks uh, the way I played, but uh, of course it, it's definitely not enough. Do you feel like the moment uh, made you a little bit more nervous or stressed than usual? Were you pretty clear-headed throughout the game today? No, I think I was pretty clear-headed, but um, yeah, at some point I just, you know, uh, made blunder after blunder, and, you know, I mean, it's an unpleasant feeling, but... Uh, I don't think it's related to any stress I had. Did you change your preparation at all, given the fact that it was maybe the most important game of your life? Uh, no, uh, we went the usual routine. So, I mean, um, of course, uh, we checked uh, the Italian quite extensively. Uh, and uh, we decided to give it a go with my seconds. And, uh, you know, in the morning I was just uh, refreshing my memory with some lines and... You know, I think we, overall the opening was definitely a success. So, you know, th there was no re reason to change, you know, everything. You know, I was just trying to, to relax and to, to have freshened up at the game. Yesterday, Rajabov said that he felt pretty lucky he got Gelfon as an opponent because he knew he'd get an interesting game. But what were your thoughts when you saw that Yakovenka would be your opponent today? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm right. I, as you honestly, it was on me to to get to get some play, and uh, I think I, I managed. But uh, you know, it's not really relevant at, at the end. Only the result was relevant today. Were you following the other results because all the other four and a halves were drawing, which is actually good for you? Did were you you know going back and forth in the tournament hall following those results during your game today? Yeah, I was pretty much following everything. Yeah, and. Uh, at the moment where you figured out that you controlled your own destiny because you actually did control your own destiny, did you realize that in the middle of the game? Uh, yeah, but I think the moment I realized that was when well, suddenly it was a bit too late. <laughs> and now, okay, anyway, um, I mean, the turning point of the game is not, you know, like uh, watching the other games, just uh, this uh, one... Uh, I don't know if you can call it an, an hallucination, but uh, something like that. And finally, you're going to have to wait two more years for your shot at becoming a candidate and possibly becoming the world champion. Um, what will you do in those two years that were maybe different than these? Or do you feel like you don't have to do anything different because you just missed on three different ways of qualifying? Well, it's a difficult question to answer, of course, but... Um you know, for now, I will not think about it. Also, I will, you know, I have uh, pretty strong events coming up. And, of course, it's a pity not to be able to to fight for, for the World Championship this time. And, uh, you know, anyway, I feel like, uh, you know, you're, you always feel you're, you're ready. But uh, it's definitely quite easy to to miss out. I mean, uh, the so eight candidates this year will are all, uh, you know, very deserving, and uh, there's uh, there are even um, a few more that that could have uh, definitely, you know, uh, aimed for a spot. So uh, just the level of chess has improved so much that you know, even even when you're playing your your best chess, more or less, you know, you you can still miss out. Absolutely. You won the Sinkfield Cup this year. You got a semi-finalist spot in the World Cup. You just missed out on qualifying the Grand Prix points, so your career is definitely on the upswing as well. And uh, good luck to you in your upcoming events. Yeah, thank you, Mike.